Black Twitter is the most dominant so media force in the world. Because the thing with all black people is that all black people feel entitled to have an opinion. Because we, we're told from a very small age that we are the most like intelligent, beautiful, most powerful people in the world. That's just a, a thing that all black people are told. You are special. You are beautiful. Black is beautiful. Black is proud. Black is incredible. And the first thing is, if you have Twitter and you're black and you can talk to other black people and you're beautiful and I'm beautiful and I'm intelligent and you're intelligent and we have this wide open space where if white people try to like interact with us and say that we're not and say that we're other and say that we're wrong, we can tell them to blow it out their ass and there's like a million other people that will agree with you. That's power. That's black power. Black Twitter is black power at work. Imagine if the Black Panthers could access black Twitter. Think about that for a second. Think about if the Black Panthers could, could move and maneuver the way that they did in the 60s and have black Twitter around so that they could tweet about things and they could organize the people and do the things they wanted to do. You know, it would, it, 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 we still have the Black Panthers today. There'd be a Black Panther to be in office right now. It wouldn't be Barack Obama in office. There'd be some son of a son of a son of a Panther that would be the president of the United States because they would have understood how to actualize power and do it in such a way and do it so fast that it, it makes people's heads swim. Like, um, who's the, uh, the woman who writes Scandal? What's her name? Shonda Rhimes. Shonda Rhimes went from zero to running all of TV, to all of broadcast television in like two years. Why? Because all of the black people on Twitter were like, oh, the black woman writes a TV show? It's a good TV show? Well, that's our, that's our champion. Immediately, like, Serena Williams won Wimbledon. Black Twitter, literally, we all said, she is the best athlete of all time. No, you can't tell us otherwise. If you're a white person and you're on Twitter and you're trying to say that she's not and that she's an animal and she's a mongrel and she's all this stuff, shut up. And what do white people have to do? Or any non-black person have to do? Shut up. Because there is a large, angry mob of a voice yelling at you, threatening internet violence against you if you don't agree. That's black power. That's why black Twitter works. That's why it's so dominant because it finally like makes black power real. And if you plug into black, like notice, look at any artist, any person who's plugged into black Twitter successfully in the last five years. They've gone from here to overnight. Because once, once the entirety of black, the black universe gets behind you, you're not going to lose. I mean, black people are the coolest people in the world. I mean, when the black, when, when the world was ready for a black president and the black guy stood up, even though he might not have been the right black guy or whatever, we can talk about this for ages, he won. Because all of the black people said, okay, he's the president. And white people, you can tell us that he's not, and you can try to vote against him, but we will call you racist. Because you know he's the guy. Even if he wasn't, that's the actualization of black power. It's crazy.